Is the Lord your God? Is if you obey him, you will be blessed in the city and blessed in the country. How many of you want to be more blessed than you are today? How many of you want to be the recipient of divine grace? Oh, I need to hear you open up your mouth, hallelujah to God, and talk back to me this morning. If you want to become the recipient of God's blessings, and he's got a lot of it, you've got to read verse 1 and, uh, and uh, the last, uh, second to last phrase in uh, verse 3. If you fully obey the Lord your God, and it's not just partially, but if you fully obey the Lord your God and carefully follow all the commandments I'll give to you this day. He said, the Lord God will set you high above all the nations on earth. Mm, 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 mm. Ah, I want to talk to you about the master key that unlocks heaven's treasury house. Just ask somebody real quickly, you got your key? Now, considering the world's compelling inclination towards a virtually cashless society, ask how many of you in here have a $100 bill in your wallet or in your pocketbook, and I'm sure I'd be flabbergasted if 10 of you could produce a $100 bill without having to utilize your debit card. Why? Because people generally today don't walk around anymore with a wad, uh, wad, wad of cash. Even the most basic transactions are executed by some type of automated uh, telemachine device. With all these impeccable, flawless fashion divas that we have up in here this morning ask 50 of you women to bring me a small comb from your pocketbook and i'm convinced the chances of 10 of you coming forward would be very slim with most people now wigging it comb in the pocketbook is hardly a necessity nowadays Majority of you have submissive compliant hair. You put it where you want it. And as long as the wind doesn't blow and the rain doesn't fall, those curls stay right in place, however and wherever you set them in position. And somebody ought to say amen, preacher. Now, quite the contrary, if I should ask the entire congregation, to show me a single key or a bunch of keys with, with even children would be brandishing and waving keys above every single pew. Truth is, your residence, every business establishment, everything that requires safety or high-tech security, every form of transportation, whether by air, by land, or by sea, Everything of value and significance, every costly, priceless treasure requires some kind of key in order to gain access. Keys, as we all know, are perhaps one of the most indispensable components to everyday living. Keys grants us a free access into places where normally you would would have been denied admission or permission for entry key to my car my house my office or a safety deposit box decriminalize my action and further legitimize my authority uh, my legal right to enter without obstruction brothers and sisters think with me keys gives us the indubitable uh, unquestionable power and privilege to enter into private properties and uh, restricted parameters where other
otherwise we would have been disbarred shut out and forbidden to enter uh, the point uh, of emphasis uh, reaffirms that you cannot lawfully enter into certain classified restricted areas or secured facility unless you've been given the specific key that unlocks the main door talk to me somebody no matter how close in close in proximity you may be without the proper key uh, even if it's your own house you cannot enter and there's nothing more disappointing there's nothing more frustrating than to arrive at a crucial location a place where that represents rest and fulfillment only to be met by a door with locks securely fastened and no possible chance of getting in. There is nothing more disturbing and discouraging than coming to the realization that this is where you belong yet being cognizant that the only thing standing between where you are and where you belong is a closed door. In fact, that is precisely where many of you are this morning. Coming uh, this close to dream fulfilled, standing right at the borderline of a life-changing metamorphosis, uh, me 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 uh, metamorphosis, uh, only to come up against a closed door with no possible way of getting in. A key is a small, invaluable apparatus that allows you to go beyond whatever force has been intentionally placed to block and bar you out of what lies on the other side. Say amen, somebody. Doors are not only meant to shield and protect. Doors are often obstructive impediments in called to block your path to destiny we need open doors how many know we need open doors we need open doors to take us from one place to the other from one level to another open doors gives us access to hidden blessings and treasures uh, to a hidden higher dimension and a place of indescribable opportunities open doors without an open open door you are confined you are restricted to a particular level or location uh, fortunately however every door is equipped with a lock somebody say yes and if you have the key to unlock it nothing can keep you out of what belongs to you uh, the critical question is do you have the key uh, I can't forget, let me let me refer, make a reference here, I can't forget, late one afternoon last uh, summer, I went outside with my dog Armani uh, so he could get some fresh air, you know, and do his business. Uh, barefooted with only a marina and the shorts on, I accidentally closed the door behind me, not realizing that I'd actually locked myself out with uh, not even a cell phone to contact my wife who was not home at the time uh, hear me somebody within minutes it started to rain and there I was uh, there I was improperly dressed standing outside in the rain unable to get into my own house uh, you've got to see this here mother Johnson because I had my hands on the lock and as hard as I tried every window every door was completely shut hallelujah I'm on my own property and I'm locked out and it's not anybody's fault but mine I want you to come with me here and as hard as I try I cannot get in I'm stuck on the outside 
outside looking in all because I did not have my keys. Uh, like it or not, in many instances, by our own negligence, uh, some of us find ourselves today locked out of many opportunities that God has reserved for us all because we fail to utilize the keys that are available to us. You're not going to say anything, but I'm going to push it further. Some of us, hallelujah to God, are on the outside not because of God's fault or the devil's fault, um, but because of our own negligence. We have forfeited certain prestigious benefits all because we have neg neglected or negated to apply the keys we have been given the ability to go beyond the outer limits the possibility to explore and to traverse hallelujah to God the path of success and attainment is right at our fingertips but unfortunately many of us failed to take advantage of the keys God has placed right before our very eyes. Life could have been, amen, substantially better for a whole lot of us if most would have just learned, amen, to master the many keys we have received every time we walk into the house of God. God has provided us with the keys to get out of debt. He has provided us with the keys to receive our healing, to be empowered and to possess our spiritual inheritance. But until we apply the principles and obey the word of God, some folks will remain in the same stagnant place and position for decades more. You ain't got the same and I'll show you how to get in in a moment because it is critical to understand and the intrinsic power, amen, of having keys. In fact, the keys are fundamentally more powerful than any, amen, petitionary requests. Your keys are more powerful, hallelujah to God, than a plea with the authority. Why? Because if you have the key, you don't have to ask permission, hallelujah, from anybody. If you need to get to my office and I hand you the keys, why are you standing there looking at me? You simply go in and what I've done is not just giving you access, I've given you authority, hallelujah to God, to help yourself with whatever you see in my office. Come on somebody, a key gives you the authority to walk away, hallelujah, with heart, your heart's desire. Somebody say amen. Somebody say amen. If I give you the keys, you don't stand around talking about, may I come in? Oh no, baby, you just turn the key in the lock. And without any other authorization, automatically the door, amen, simply swings wide open. Because the only thing that a door responds to is a key. A door doesn't respond to brute force unless it is that you're going to kick it in. Come on, somebody. But if you're going to go in the legal way, hallelujah, the only way is by the key. Somebody shout, I got the key. I feel God in here this morning. God, I'm going to preach after a minute. Keys are incredible, incredibly small, but they have the potential not only to open humongous doors, they have the capacity to lead you into commodious realms of uncommon greatness and super abundance. Some of us are always despising the small things that God places in our lives. We want to go big. We talked about it last year. We want to go big. But I find when God decides to do big things, he puts little 
your things in your hands. Come on, talk to me, somebody. Come on, talk. But some of us, like Naaman, some of us, like Naaman, think that the thing that God has placed in our hands is too small. So we ignore it. We don't utilize it, not knowing that it has the ability to take you where your mother and father could not go to take you beyond where your generation past your ancestors could not go come on somebody I want to tell you that whatever gift you have that's a key that God has given to you and that key has the opportunity and the propensity and the power to bring you into places come on somebody that some folk only dream of the Bible says your gifts will make room for you and that is the simple gift that you have has the ability to take you in the presence of kings take you in the presence of diplomats but you got to have deep regard for what God has given you to somebody and tell them little things are the producers of big things come on and say yeah come on and say yes some of you got stuff in your hands that can change your life you got stuff that other folks would kill for and you don't even recognize it but before this day is over touch somebody and tell them I'm going in I'm going where I've never been before you know why I've got what are you talking about? I got potential. And if you have potential, come on somebody. Shout the sky is the limit, Jesus. I feel you in here. Keys are incredibly small, but they can open big doors. They have the capacity to lead you beyond desire. And an unfathomable world awaits those who are able to acquire the key to every door that serves as a blockade to the treasures God has reserved for your life. So then having keys, my brothers, is your ticket to the other side. Somebody shout, I got to get in. We are always looking to folk to help us, Tony, to get from point A to the other. But what God does is he places the power of independence in us. And baby, if you would work your key, come on and say yes. It'll get you in. Slap your neighbor and tell him I got to go in. I'm going there now. Come on, somebody. Tell your neighbor I got to get in. I'm through with the on folk. I'm through with depending on a team. Some people think you can't build. You can't win unless you got a large team. You and God. You and the Holy Ghost. You and Jesus can move mountain. Say yes. Shout I'm going in. The thing you've been dreaming about. The thing you've been praying about. The thing you've been hoping for. Don't wait on somebody else to make it happen. Get up two hours earlier every morning and work the key. I said work the key. Slap somebody, tell them work the key. If you don't work it, it won't work for you. Come on and say yes. Come on and say yes. Some people think you can just stand by your door and I'll huff and I'll puff and I'll blow your door down. Hallelujah. It depends on whose door it is. Come on, somebody. The devil got your treasure confiscated and he's not about to let it go quickly. You got to use the key God has given you. Tongues are a key. Your spiritual language. Come on, somebody. It's a key. It will get you where. Come on, English language. The Queen's language can't get you. Come on, somebody. There are some doors. 
force. Come on, somebody that will not move. Come on, somebody, unless you got a key. I'm not talking about those automatic doors where you step up to it, Rashida, and it wide open. Come on, somebody, where your treasure is, where your future is, where your destiny is, it requires a key. Touch somebody and tell them I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Glory be to God. You don't think we can, but I'm telling you that we will. In John, St. John chapter 5, Jesus met a forsaken invalid who had been in a chronic state of paralysis for over 38 years. Could somebody tell him, I'm going to change my condition. The minute you change your position, you'll change your condition. Come on, somebody. All of your life, this has been some people's position. Standing there with your hands folded, waiting for somebody to come around with a handout. But I come to tell you that this season that we are in, God said, I've laid it before you, but you gotta come get it. Some of you are like a dog where they throw you a bone and you sitting there waiting for the master to put it in your mouth. You can lead, they said you can lead a horse to water, but you can't force him to drink. Touch somebody and tell him I'm too close to walk away without my stuff. Come on and say yes. Come on and say yes. You deserve better. You deserve more. God has reserved more for you in life. I command refuge like a mighty army. Rise up and take your inheritance. Rise up and receive the grace of open heaven. Come on, slap three people and tell them I gotta get in. Slap three people, tell them we got to get in. We've got to get in. We've got to get in. Hallelujah, Irene, we got to get in. We've been standing here for too long. We got to get in. This man was there, mark this, he was there, Williams, for 38 years. The man was serving a life sentence, a life prison sentence in his own body. Come on and say amen, somebody. We got more prisoners walking around free than we got inmates in jail. Are you hearing me, somebody? Prisoners in your own body fighting demons that no one can and see. Come on somebody. You got strongholds on the inside that won't let you go. But I come to tell you use the key that God has given to you. Come on somebody. A prisoner in his body being in such com contemptible despicable condition. One would imagine that the first thing that the Lord Jesus would do talk to me somebody that he would go over lay hands on the man and heal him after all he was deprived he was depraved he was suffering Jesus he needed a miracle right now instead all Jesus gave him was a couple of keys talk to me somebody what do you mean I said he gave him a couple of keys here's what he said he looked at the man did not address his condition looked at the man did not pity him looked at the man did not refer or refer to what he was going through he looked at the man he said get up take up your bed and walk how do you tell a crippled man to take up your bed and walk how do you tell a man that has never walked to walk? 
He doesn't even know what walking is. Come on, somebody. All he knows is been here. This has been his position all his life. But Jesus says, get up, take up your bed and walk. Held in a painful life of captivity. Wanting to break the bars of infirmity. And to walk the halls of liberty. The par this par paralytic to cold. Somebody say, take hold. He took hold of faith. And he took hold of the key of obedience. The key of faith. And the key of obedience. And the minute he applied these simple keys. Come on, somebody. Not only did the door swung wide open. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The doors of amen, confinement swung wide open. He got up. He began to walk out fully clothed with healing and deliverance. Tell your neighbor, watch me. I'm walking out of this. Watch me. I refuse to be comfortable with my situation. Touch somebody, watch me. I'm going to walk out. Somebody say yes. Somebody say yes. I come to tell somebody in a place for too long yet if you can't walk out you gotta break out but I'm getting ready shot I'm getting ready Gilzine I'm getting ready getting ready to break out slap three people tell them watch me I'm about to break out